All right, thanks for being here, guys. Tonight is um, September 16th, and it is our second training for Coach Basics. So I'm really excited to have you guys here again. And I just wanted to start off by just saying how awesome I think all of you guys are doing in the training. It's great that you guys are all going in and actually participating and completing the assignments and actually going out and taking action. That's really, really important in this business. The only way really to learn is by getting out and doing doing something. So that's great that you guys are in there every single day and you're reading what the posts are and then you're applying what you're learning. So great job and keep up the good work with that. It makes a huge difference. Um, for those of you, you know, who don't know me in case you're new on the call or listen to this later, um, my name's Kathy and I've been a coach now for 14 months. I'm an eight star diamond coach for Beachbody. I've been staying at home with the kids now for three years. And um, because of Beachbody, I've been so fortunate enough to be able to pretty much double what my income was as a teacher. I was a teacher for eight years with a master's degree. So I've been able to pretty much over double what I was earning as a teacher. So now I'm able to continue to stay at home with the kids, which has always been my dream. And that's always been my goal, my ultimate goal. So I'm just so fortunate for this opportunity um, and all the friendships I've made along the way and just how life changing it's been for me. So I hope that you guys can have stories like this in the future. Um, if you can stick with it and really just see the true potential in this and not give up on yourself. So thanks again for being here. I wanted to go over just what some of the specials were for the month in case you don't know. Um, so the monthly promos, we have the Pio challenge pack for $140 and that's an awesome program. Really good for people who are looking for something um, low impact and um, something to increase flexibility. It's a really great one. It combines um, Pilates with yoga, and it's really fun. Like it gets you up and gets you moving, and Shaleen is just a really awesome trainer. So it's a really fun program to do. So that's $140. Comes with the one month of Shakeology. The uh, three-day refresh challenge pack is also $140. That's another great program for people who are looking to you know, if they're looking to go away on vacation and they just want to get a little kickstart and, you know, shed a few pounds, like get the bloatedness feeling done, or if they come back from vacations and they really want something to just kind of just, oh, you know how you feel after vacation is a great one. Or it's just a great program too, to just begin the process of your health and fitness journey. It gets things going, kickstart uh, things. I've seen some great results with it. And I know a lot of people on the team have too. So that's a really good one too. It's $140. And then there's also the Pio Kickstart Challenge Pack. So that comes with the Pio program. It comes with the one month of Shakeology. And then it also comes with the three-day refresh. So it's an awesome deal for $180. So when you're talking to people and you're kind of listening to the things that they need um, or need help with in improvement-wise, you can keep that in the back of your mind too. Those are all sale items um, going on till the end of the month. All right. So... I wanted to start off this call talking about something that's called forming. And I know you guys watched um, some of the videos in the training about forming. And I, you know, I can't say it enough how important it is to keep in mind that this entire business, everything that you accomplish in this business boils down to you building relationships with people. So if you can just keep that in the back of your mind and get like the whole, am I a salesperson thing out of your mind? You will excel in this like there's no tomorrow, all right? So forming is something that we call in Beachbody. And I'm going to tell you what it stands for. It's an acronym. So the F stands for family. The O stands for occupation. R is for recreation. And M is for message. Like what kind of message can you, can you, can you give people to add value to them? So forming is basically you reaching out and you connecting with people and talking to them. You're not talking to them about Beachbody at this point. You're not, you know, blurting out that you have a challenge group. Do you want to join it? You're not, you know, telling them right off the bat that you're a coach. Do you want to join my team? This is all about you asking questions and listening to them to get to know them. So if you look at that acronym, you can use that to help guide some of your questions. You can ask them about their family and their kids or how you connect with them on that level. You can ask them what they do for a career or do you stay at home with your kids? What do you like to do for fun? Things like that. And you can end it by telling them about a way that you can help them. So you could tell them about our free clean eating group that we have. You can even just say, hey, if you're looking for help ever with your health and fitness, 
We run a free seven day clean eating group every single month. I'd be more than happy to add you to it. Do you mind if I write your name down on my list for our next one in case you're interested? So you can do things like that. Um, but it's really important to spend this time in this conversation talking all about them and getting to know them. Because like I said, you're building a relationship with them. You're building a friendship with them. And it's so important to be able to do that with people. You want people to know how sincere you are and that you genuinely care about them because they, you want them to be able to trust you. And that's what it boils down to. So by taking the time to get to know them and find out about them, you know, just like you would form a friendship with someone if you were in a college class or if you were at work and you met someone new, it's the same exact thing on social media when you're reaching out to people and you're private messaging people in that personal message. All right, so keep that in the back of your mind. And this is something that you need to be doing every single day. This is the key component to this entire business, is forming and talking to people and inviting them to your challenge groups. That is what it all boils down to. So making this a part of your daily routine, I can't say enough how important it is. Even if people don't write back to you right away, people will eventually get back to you. Um, and then you can start to build that relationship. So like I said, forming, you're reaching out, you're talking to them, asking them questions about them and their life. Um, if you are reaching out for the first time, you can take a look at their Facebook wall and see what they're posting. You can think about maybe how you know them and what you already have in common with them and ask a question about something like that, that you have in common with them. So that way you can relate to them and that they can relate to you. All right, so this is something that you want to be doing every single day, and you should be forming with people with minimum, I say, five people every single day. So these are five new people every single day that you are building a relationship with and getting to know. All right, we're going to talk about now, talking about your Facebook posts every single day. So this is something else, too, that's it's such a crucial part in Beachbody and for your business if you want to have success. You want to be able to create a following. So you want people to know that you're a Beachbody coach, that you're a health and fitness coach, and how you can help them. And so a really good way to do that is by giving free daily tips and advice every single day. You know, how can you add value to people every single day? What's something that you could put up on Facebook that could help someone, even if it's just one person? So you could go ahead and you could post a tip about something. You could post a tip about, you know, water intake or, you know, the right amounts of fruits and veggies that you should be having every day, um, portion sizes. You could, you could post up a recipe, you know, a healthy recipe. That's something free that someone could go ahead and see on your wall and they might like it and then they could use it. And it was all free and it added value to someone and it helped someone. You could do that. Um, a really, a really great thing to do too is to, actually just ask a question on Facebook. This drives traffic to your Facebook wall and gets people engaged and people love to give their input. So even if you know the answer to something, you know, it doesn't even need to be about Beachbody at all. It could be any kind of question. Maybe you are struggling with something at home with like the kids and you don't know what to do. So you post a question on Facebook or, you know, like the other day, I literally really did need more tips on, um, more of a variety of food for lunch that I could give my kids because I was just like running out of ideas and I was just getting sick of doing the same thing. So I posted on Facebook, you know, I'm looking for a more variety of lunch ideas to give my kids that are healthy. What are some suggestions? What are some things that you give your kids? And just, you know, tons of people got engaged with that. People love to give their opinion and participate in things. And what this does for you is the more people that come to you at that point and see that post when they comment, the next time that you post, they are more likely to see that post as well. So it's really, really awesome if you guys can put up a question at least like three or four times a week. Put up a question on your Facebook wall to get people engaged. And you should be posting at least three times a day um, to, get, to get a lot of interaction going and to get a lot of followers. Because even though you post, if you post one post up, you know, not all of your friends are going to see that. That's just the way it works. So if you can do three posts a day, and you know, for me, I like to kind of plan them out the night before. So I usually try to get one up in the morning. First thing in the morning, I try to get one up when the kids go down from their nap mid-afternoon. And then I try to get up another one, sometimes around dinner time, and then another one around like nine o'clock, 9.30 at night. 
So you want to do a good mix of your Facebook posts and you want them to be real. You want them to be you. So you want to kind of do a good mix between something beach body related um, that is personalized by you. So you really want to stay away from going to the website, posting up those regular stock image photos that you can do. You want to stay away from saying, Oh, Pio challenge pack is on sale today. Like, you know, message me, you know, to get the details, you know, you want to make it more personal. All right. So stay, try to stay away from all that stuff. So you want to do a beach body post. You want to mix it with a personal post or something that's going on, you know, with your life, with your family, something you did that day, maybe a vacation you're going on, something like that. And then the third one, you want to do um, like an inspirational quote you could do or a motivational post. So that way there's a good mix of posts. But you want to definitely make sure that you're trying to get in those three posts a day. And you want to make sure that you're consistent with them every single day. Because people are watching you and, you know, you want to be able to show value and provide value to these people. And if you're talking so highly about how great it is to become a coach and, you know, people wanting to join your team or to join your challenge group, they are going to be more likely to go with someone who is reliable. So one way to show that you are reliable is by being consistent on social media. So just think about it that way. You know, don't think about social media anymore, Facebook as like, you know, as, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? It changes when you become a, a coach, when you own a business and we're trying to build our business and Facebook is how we do this. So we no longer use Facebook as a means of pleasure, you know, where before we became coaches, I know for me, I spent all my time pretty much scrolling through, looking at pictures of people's kids, just, you know, goofing off, not doing anything. Now, when you're a coach, our business, is all run through social media. So it is changes for us. So you wanna remember that, that when you're posting, you're not being annoying, you're really not. Half the time, most of these people are not even seeing your post. You have a very, very small percentage of people seeing your post, which is why you wanna post more, all right? So get, try to focus on getting up those three posts every single day. You know, like I said, plan it out the night before if you can, if you're not good at that stuff. I mean, I know I struggled with that, for a long time at the beginning, not really knowing what I should post, when I should post it, you know, and I spent half my time like just like trying to rock my brains thinking about something to post up. So if the night before you can think about a couple things that you want to post about tomorrow, that will be really helpful to you and just kind of pencil in the time and then you kind of already know what you're going to post and then it won't take long at all. Boom, it's up. All right. So keep that in the back of your mind. Um, Another important thing with this business too that I wanted to talk about tonight was your power hour. So your power hour is something that you should be doing every single day in this business, all right? And so this is really going to be a focused one hour worth of time, one hour to build your business. So you remember that, like this is your business, so one hour every day is really not a lot of time. So spend one hour every single day sitting down and focusing on your beach body business. I know that there are a lot of coaches that actually will set timers and they will time themselves and you know, for the different things that they do during their power hour to help them stay on track. Um, I put my phone completely away. I turn it on silent. I don't even have it near me. Um, and I don't look at any of the notifications on Facebook when I'm doing my power hour. When you first start out like this, guys, your power hour is gonna be just a power hour. Um, for me, now that I have a large team and I have more responsibilities and things like that, my power hour is more like three hours, okay? But for you guys, it's just going to be one hour where you're going to sit down every single day and you're going to spend the time doing the same things every single day. You're going to spend it sitting down and forming. So you're going to reach out to those five new people and form with them. Just talk to them. Nothing beach body related at all. If for some reason it happens to come up in there and the timing is right, that's a different story. But you're going to spend that time talking to five people, asking them questions about their life, their family, their jobs, getting to know them a little bit. You're going to also spend that time inviting to five new people to your challenge group. So these are people who you've already talked to before. You're going to invite, and you're going to invite them to our next challenge group. So our next challenge group, guys, for the 21-day fix, if this is the one you're going to go for and target for, is on September 28th. So when you reach out to people, you can tell them that your next private support and accountability group starts on September 28th. Um, so that way they know, 
all right? Then you're going to spend the next little bit of time going into your challenge group, if you're in one, which hopefully you all are. And if you have challengers, you're gonna go into the group and just kind of comment on their post if they had any kind of questions or things like that, or just even just private message them really quickly, just touching base with them and just asking them how they're doing, if they need any help with anything, um, just to let them know that you are there for them. You're gonna wanna get up one of your posts during this time, and then you are going to want to always add at least three new friends to your Facebook list. And then if you have time, during this amount of time, you wanna end with your, or start however it works out for you, with your personal development. I know a lot of people that do their power hour and they don't include their personal development during them because they do their personal development either in the car, on the way to work, on the way home, or they do it before they're going to bed at night. So those are the real like key components and those are the things, like those are the essentials that need to be done every single day with this business to see success, all right? If you're not doing those things, you know, I don't like to sugarcoat things with people. You're, you're gonna have a really hard time succeeding in this business. So be honest with yourself, you know, make sure you're sitting down, dedicate that one hour of time every single day. Everyone's got it. You know, you can cut out a little bit of TV if you need to um, and just sit down and spend it focused, all right? Don't scroll through Facebook. I know it can be tempting with all the notifications coming in, um, but just spend it talking to people and building relationships with people. So that is key to this business, all right? So I'm sure all you guys are doing that anyway. So I just like to, you know, throw all that in there. That's just the most important thing. Really is just connecting with the people um, and really not winging it. You don't want to you don't want to wing it with this business, all right? So you want to try to be as organized with it as possible. So that's why if you go to my team page, if you look in the files section, I do have a couple of Power Hour um, trackers. I have one that I use that's specific to me, and then another coach also posted up hers in there. So they're up there for you to use, but those are the key components that you want to include during that hour when you're working every single day. All right. Um, some of the really... Um, cool apps that you can use to make pictures when you're putting up pictures. You know, you want to make sure that when you're posting, you're using, you know, eye-catching images and things that will draw people's attention. So here are some of the apps that I use and some of the other people on the team use, and I can post them up to in the training page after so that you have them. But PicMonkey is one of them. Um, Word Swag is another one. Photo Mirror. Um, Photo Candy. Font Candy, Pick Collage, and Canva. I love Canva. Canva is really Canva is really awesome because it saves all your images, and you can go back in, and you can actually after you've saved it, like say you want to do another one again, like a week later, you can go back into that same image and actually edit it and use it again. Whereas with PicMonkey, you can't do it. Once you save an image, that's the image. If you ever wanted to go back and tweak it again, you'd need to start from scratch and redo it all over again, which can kind of be a little bit of a pain. So those are some really good ones that you could use. And like I said, I'll post them up on the team page after so that you can check them out. Um, and our goals for this month, all right, were to hit Success Club. So you want to try to shoot for Success Club because honestly, like the key success in this business is having the confidence. And nothing gets your confidence up more than getting somebody signed up with a challenge pack, okay? So if you're a brand new coach and you get your first one, you know what that's like. It's like, oh my gosh, like I got my first challenge pack. This is awesome, all right? So we want to focus on that and getting you your first challenge pack, whether it's sold as, you know, a customer or as a coach. Like I said, you know, everybody does different things. I sign everybody up as coaches because it saves them money and it builds your organization. Um... But if the person like refuses to put in their social security number, I mean, then you could do the customer. Um, but you want to just get that first person to help because then it's like, yes, I've done it. And, you know, confidence comes with time. It really does. Like the more you're reaching out to people, the more you're forming with people, the more that you're hearing objections from people and then learning how to respond to that, all that over time builds you confidence. So we want to focus on your first month hitting Success Club 5. So that's just helping just three people by the end of the month get started on their health and fitness journey. And if you're sitting down every day, like honestly, truthfully sitting down every single day and carving out an hour of your time for the power hour, and you're spending that time forming with people and inviting people 
it will be a breeze for you to hit success club. All right. Um, it's the people who are inconsistent with this. I'm telling you, the people who are inconsistent with this, who are not sitting down every single day, those are the ones that kind of struggle with hitting success club five, um, or they don't hit it at all. So just make a commitment to yourself, you know, just be realistic with yourself too. I know everybody has different amounts of time free that they have to work on this, but just be realistic about it and just make the commitment to yourself that, you know, you decided to get started on this business adventure and that you're going to go all in and you're going to keep the long-term vision and you're going to do a little bit every single day over time. So think of it like, you know, going out into the woods, if you wanted to cut down a tree, right? You wouldn't go out there in one day if you had this big tree in the backyard that you wanted to cut down. You wouldn't go down there and out there in one day and take these humongous swings at the tree like over and over and over again as fast as possible to try to knock down the tree in one day. It just wouldn't happen. You'd be completely exhausted. It just wouldn't be realistic. But if every single day you went outside and you took a couple swings at the tree, every single day you went out there, a couple swings, the next day a couple swings, over time the tree would eventually fall down. And that's exactly like this business. You're going to do a little bit every single day. Um, you're not going to try to go crazy at first because then you're going to get burnt out because a lot of people have full-time jobs and families and this is their side job that they're doing. So you want to be realistic about it and set realistic expectations and small goals for yourself at the beginning when you get started. Small goals that are going to boost your confidence, um, which is why we say Success Club 5, It'll totally get your confidence going. It gets the momentum going. Then you can focus on becoming an Emerald coach, which is when you have two coaches signed up below you. They don't need to be active coaches like, um, like us. They can just be discount coaches, just people looking to get the product 25% off. Um, one thing I wanted to mention that um, is really important is that when you enroll someone, you do have two choices. You can enroll someone as a customer or you can enroll them as a coach. Um, you know, if you are just looking to get your Shakeology covered, or if you have a coach even that is just looking to get their Shakeology covered, they don't want to form a team of their own over time. They just have no desire. Then I would tell them, all right, sign up those people as customers. But if you yourself, or if you have coaches yourself right now, who want to build teams and have a long-term vision with this, you want to encourage people to sign up as coaches. And the reason why is because the only way that you are going to build your organization and be, and have a large team and earn residual income over time is by having coaches in your downline. If you sign up people all the time as customers, you're going to get more instant cash right away because you're going to get that $40 commission every single month when the Shakeology comes out. But that's not long term. People are going to quit um, and you're not going to be able to keep up with it. And you don't want to have to be going out and every single month going crazy balls to the wall trying to lock in high success club numbers to earn this income because now you're dependent on it. You want to be able to grow this to a point where if you, you know, have a lot going on one month, you don't need to get those high success club numbers and go crazy. You can kind of lay low in the residual income from the volume from your cycle bonuses will be where you will be earning like all of your money. Okay. So for me right now, that's, that's what it is. All, most of all my money, pretty much almost all of it comes from cycle bonus money, which is from having discount coaches and active coaches in my organization. Um, and it gives me volume and it's the long-term picture. I can step away from my business for a good week um, and not do anything or make any sales and my paycheck will be really, really high because of that. So like I said, think about where you are in this business. If you're looking to just get your Shakeology covered, then it makes more sense for you to sign them up as customers. Um, but if you really do have a long-term vision with this business and you want to be able to um, you know, build a big team and be able to go on vacations and not have to worry about it and it continues to make you more and more money, then you want to focus on just bringing in coaches. And honestly, um, when I talk to people, I tell them, you know, I can either put you in the system as a coach or I can put you in as a customer. If I put you in as a coach, then for the following month when Shakeology ships out, if you love it, then it'll be 25% off. Um, and anything else that you buy going forward will be 25% off. 
or if I put you in as a customer, you won't get that discount. It'll be full price. And so it saves you like $30 a month going in as a coach. What would you like to do? Pretty much everyone wants to go in as a coach because it saves them money. And I've actually had a lot of people switch to me and have me be their coach because the previous person that um, they were working with never told them that they could go in as a coach and save the money. Um, because obviously if someone was being selfish about it, you'd want to put them in as customers, right? Because you're going to get more money from them. So I've had people switch to me and, you know, because they were upset that the person they were working with never told them that they could save um, $30 a month. So they actually switched to me. And because of that, you know, they were assigned like, you know, the random coach from Beachbody type of thing. Um, so you just want to keep that in the back of your mind. There've been people in my upline um, that have been doing this for a long time and you know, I just wanted to share all this with you guys because, because he was talking about, one of the guys was just talking about how, this is going back six months now, he was saying how when he first started out, he was signing up all these people as customers, and he was making like tons and tons of money because he needed the money then and he needed it now at that time. Um, he wasn't even giving them the option of coach. And then what happened is, this is just how the business is, people stay on for like two, three months and they quit. In the end, he ended up with no organization at all. So he was going from making like tons of money every single week and really like loving that. And his confidence was like, boop, way up to all of a sudden having nothing. Because when people quit as customers, you don't have any kind of foundation at all. So he had to start from scratch again. And that was really discouraging for him. Um, and then he shifted his focus and said, you know, I need to think long term. This is crazy. Uh, I'm going to be signing up people as discount coaches. So just always, guys, just keep that in the back of your mind. Like I said, Tell people, just come right out and tell them and give them the choice and tell them that, listen, you don't have to do anything as a coach, all right? It just gets you the uh, Shakeology for 25% off if you want to continue with it. If you don't, then you'll just cancel before your next shipment comes out. Just be honest with them so that they know. But that is the way to go. That is why I have been able to um, rank advance so quickly and move up in this business is because my organization now has, you know, pretty much a thousand people in my downline. Um, and if you just bring in on customers, you're not going to have a downline. It's not going to grow that much at all. And that's what you want if you're in it for the long term. So just think about that when you have your new coaches, when you're bringing them on, really just find out what their goals are with this um, and then go from there so that you can guide them in the right direction. All right. All right. So that's what you want to focus on. Success Club 5 your first month and Emerald Coach. And let me check out here if I have anything else for you guys for tonight. Oh, did anybody have any questions about any of the videos that went up this week about, you know, your confidence in the business or um, handling objections or anything like that? Did anybody have anything that they wanted to kind of ask or just run by me or anything? No? Doing good? Okay. And so all this stuff, guys, comes with practice. It really does. You know, it, it's very easy to get sometimes discouraged. And, you know, be like, oh, man, like this person said, no, I reached out to all these people and I got like 10 no's. You know, we all get no's. We, I mean, you should see how many no's I got. I mean, I got 75 no's, guys, the other weekend. <laughs> all right, but it's okay. That's, it just means that there's more yeses coming and we're planting seeds with people. And just keep the long-term vision in mind um, and just honestly just go out there. Try your best every single day. Don't beat yourself up. Your confidence will come with time. The more you do this, the more people you talk to, you'll get more comfortable. It's just like learning anything new for the first time. You have no clue really when you first start out, but then as time goes on, as each day goes by, you get better and better. And that's why your personal development is going to be key for you guys um, and for everybody in this business. It really will help you grow and it will help you become a better coach. It'll help you be able to talk to people so that you're more confident with the products that you're selling and with yourself. And once you have all that and you have like the confidence and you have that belief, people just will, you know, come to you. They'll be like a magnet to you. All right. So keep that in the back of your mind. Just carve out a little bit of time for the slight edge or the compound effect, whatever book that you have right now, and just do that every single day. And it'll make a huge difference. All right. I'm just checking out here the uh, chat. Okay. Melissa said, I still get confused on how to break down the cost to people about the coaching fees. Is there a good chart to follow? So I have, um, are you talking about like if people are, you know, looking to actually be like an active coach or are you just putting them in the system as a coach, just putting them in the system as a coach? Yeah. So, um, 
when I talk to people about that, there is like a chart that I can uh, show you guys, and it might be already be in the team page. I don't know. I got to pull it up for you guys, but it will show people um, the difference between buying Shakeology as a customer versus as a coach and the fees and all that. But when I talk to people, I don't go into like all the nitty gritty stuff about the coaching stuff because it's it's just too overwhelming to people. It really is. Um, they get if you, if you're too wordy with them, people get turned off and will say no. They don't want it anymore because most of these people that you're signing up, they just want the product, right? You know. So then all of a sudden, if all of a sudden you start talking about, you know, there's this fifteen ninety five or sixteen ninety five fee, and then you can you know waive this other forty dollar quarterly fee, and then blah blah blah, they're going to be like, wait a minute, I just want the Shakeology. This is ridiculous. So what I usually do is when I talk to people. I just will come right out and I'll tell them, I'll, I'll say to them, all right, so this is great that you want this. I'm so excited. You're going to love it. I just have one more question for you. Um, did you want me to put you in the system as a coach or did you want me to put you in the system as a customer? Um, if you go in as a coach, the, you'll get 25% off on your psychology going forward if you decide to continue with it. Um, bringing it down to $113 would be $120 with uh, shipping and tax, depending on where you are. Or I can put you in as a customer and it'll be full price of close to $150. And I tell them, you know, you don't have to do anything as a coach. There's no strings attached, nothing. It just gets you the discount. And when you don't want it anymore or decide that you want to stop, you can just cancel or you can even delay your order. Um, and then they usually say, oh, I want to go in as a coach. And so then after that, that's in that first email that I send them. I will always tell them, you know, um, here's the fee. Here's the, sorry, here's a way for you to cancel your Beachbody Club membership, which is the $40 quarterly fee. So if they are not looking to do Beachbody on demand, I tell them to cancel that right away. As soon as they cancel it though, they won't be able to use it anymore. So I make sure that they know that um, as soon as you cancel this, um, you, won't, you won't have any more access anymore to the Beachbody on demand. So if you want to use it for the first three months, I would say wait and then send that in. And then I just come out and tell them, all right, your Shakeology is going to be, you know, $97 a month now. And there's a $16.95 monthly coach fee, which gets you the Shakeology discounted to $97. So the total comes out to be about $120. So even with that small coach um, fee, it ends up still being $30 cheaper versus just buying as a customer of close to $150. So I put it all in that email so that they know, so that when they see like the charges, they're, you know, they're aware. But a lot of people do. They freak out when they hear that there's going to be a monthly charge. They're like, what the heck? I just wanted the Shakeology. There's going to be a monthly charge. So I just make sure that they know that, well, that monthly charge is what gets you the Shakeology discounted to $97. Um, so even with the fee combined, it's still cheaper to do it that way. If they don't want it, I don't argue with them. You know, if they say, oh, forget it, I just want to be in as a customer, then I just, I'll put them in as a customer. But most people, once you explain it to them, they, they understand it. Did that help? <laughs> okay, good. Does anybody have any other questions about anything? Nope, doing good. All right. All right, I'm going to end with my quote. I love these quotes. All right, success is nothing but a few simple disciplines practiced every single day. And it really is, guys, with this business um, and with any business that you own, you know, you have to have the long-term vision. It's really easy to get wrapped up with what's going on today and get overwhelmed and stressed out about it and get discouraged and down. But it really is just about you sitting down and doing those three vital behaviors every single day, spending that time every single day during your power hour, inviting, talking to people, forming with people, getting new relationships going being proof the product works, and getting in your personal development. And if you do that, and you really make that commitment to yourself, it's, it's not easy to do that. It's just like everything else. If you start you know, a weight loss you know, plan, it's hard to stick with it every single day, right? You slip up sometimes. It's no different with your business. So you gotta make this commitment to yourself to do these small things every single day. And there are a lot of people that will not do them. Because it's just as easy not to do them as it is to do them. So just make a conscious effort to get that in every single day, little small daily disciplines every single day. And like I said, I tell everybody, give yourself one year from the day you joined, one full year of 
showing up every single day doing those daily disciplines and you will seriously be mind blown. I'm not kidding you. You really will be. So it may not look like things are happening in your business or you may be getting discouraged, but I can promise you like with 150% that if you show up every day and do those daily disciplines, those very basic things, things in your life for you and your family will be completely different. All right. So, all right. I'm just checking the chat here. Everything's good. All right, guys. Well, if there's no more questions, I will let you guys go for the night. And just thanks so much again for being here. And I'm so excited for you guys. And I'm so proud of you all for showing up in that team page every single day for the training and reading the post. And I'm telling you, that training this time is, is our top-notch training. So the people who are going through it and who are reading through them and then actually applying it and going out and taking action, you're going to see your business really explode. You are. All right, so just keep up the great work. And if you guys have any questions, you can post on the team page. You can ask me. You can ask your upline coach. Um, we're all here to help one another. Um, and hope you guys have an awesome week, and I will see you guys the next time. Bye, guys.